Okay, so um, this is on shape. As I've said before, you can probably do the entire first on shape assignment, the second CAD assignment on your phone. So I'm just going to go through the vice body um, on my phone uh, just so we can see how it's done. Um, you know, it's not going to be the uh, best experience uh, in the world because it's a little bit cramped on the interface, but you know, it can be done. So if you're struggling with PC access, right? Okay, so we just wait for this to uh, sort itself out here. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Right. Okay, so yeah, we can spin that around. Um, we can lock the view. So here we are. I'm, I'm, you can't see. Obviously, I'm, I'm running my my finger over up and up and around the screen. It's not moving because we've locked the view. So let's get started. So we're going to do. A sketch, let's select a sketch plane and let's go for front. There we are. Oops, a daisy, that wasn't the sketch plane I was looking for. Um, so let's try that again. Front, there we are. So I've selected the front sketch plane. Um, so let's just do that. So we've got a nice flat drawing surface. I'm just going to draw a corner rectangle, so that's just two taps there. Okay, and then we just need to set the dimensions for that. So we want our dimension button there. Um, so that's 50. So I've just got the drawing open on a, on another screen, uh, which you might find useful. Or you could always print out the drawings in college uh, and then take those home to work with. Okay, so there we are. There's our 50 by 50. So let's move that so we've got a little bit of 3D-ness there. Extrude. Uh, and it's a solid new, and we know that's 125, so not 425, 125. Okay, and we can just move that down. Uh, oh, we've not, we've not selected the sketch, so there's our sketch. There's our sketch, and you can see we've, we've got there. Okay, so. And so that's the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the big cut. So once more, I'm going to do a sketch, select a sketch plane, so I'm just going to pick a side there. Uh, I'm going to draw a rectangle, so let's just um, let's just lock that so we're not moving it about. We can zoom in a bit with a little pinch move there. Okay, so there, and we just tap the corners there. And once more, we're selecting the dimensions. So from the drawing, that's the oh, it's point one out on a guess. That's pretty good, isn't it? Thirty, and that's going to be uh, actually no, let's. Let's do it like it is on the drawing. So we go from there to there, dimension, from there to there, um, and that's 20. Okay, and then from there to there, and that's 110. Okay. All right. Just move that up. Okay, so that's fully defined. We can see it's all in black, so we can press the tick box there. So let's take our lock off, get a little bit of 3D-ness. Uh, press the beach ball looking thing again for, for that, extrude, uh, pick our sketch, remove, and we're just going to say through all. Okay, so scroll that down, we can see that looks right, so tick. So that's, that's looking okay now. All right, so now we're going to do the slot. So again, sketch, and I'm going to pick uh, that front face. Um, so just do that, okay, and lock it. And we can move things down, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so let's see how we do with this line command. So I'm just tapping on the bottom line there. Two, three. Right, so we'll have to put some constraints. Whoopsie daisy, let's just undo that last one. Line from there. To there, so I'm going to have to put some, some constraints and let's just embiggen it so we can actually see what's going on. Right, and then we're just going to do a line from the from the center point. Hopefully, that's the center point. Um, actually, let's undo that. Let's just do a line from. Hmm. See, it gets a bit tricky, doesn't it? We can't. Hopefully, that's the midpoint. Is that the midpoint? I have no idea. I'm going to have to do some constraints there. So let's um, let's make sure that that is okay. OK. 
construction. Did that work? Who knows? And let's just make that a construction line as well. Okay. Right, so we've made that a construction line. So now we can go about dimensioning this up. So again, looking at the drawing from here to here is 25. Again, not a bad guess. Oh, not 28, 25. Just tap on that, double tap on that, 25. Five, five. There we go. And what else do we know? We know that from, oops, Daisy, let's make sure we've got dimension selected. From there to, no, wrong. Undo. We know that from there to zip. From there to there, there is 15. Okay, so one, no, 15, okay, so that's looking correct, all right. Now we just need to make things symmetrical, so we'll pull down, um, right, so we have to select things first, don't we, so we're going to just choose that, oh no, we're still in dimensions, cancel, undo, right, so choose that, choose that, choose that, and then we're going to say symmetric, there we go, choose that, choose that, choose that, and we're going to say symmetric, fantastic, uh, and then we can see that the horizontal lines are still in blue, so we just need to specify those, so from there to there is 10, okay, one zero, all right. and then from there to there is 20, oops a daisy, 20. Okay, now let's just move that so it looks nice. That's interesting. Right, okay, so hopefully that's uh, that's all done. So we can say tick. Not looking quite. Ah, we're, we're off, aren't we? We're off. So let's. We're going to have to go back and edit that sketch. So that was sketch three. So edit. There we are. Right. Uh, so we need to put in some constraints, so we need um, a horizontal constraint between that point and that point. Ah, pick the points and then pick our constraint. So we want those, there we are, that's looking better isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Okay, anything else that's, right, so everything's in black, everything's constrained. Okay, right, so now let's just turn that lock off, bit of 3D-ness, zoom out slightly. Um, we're going to do another extrude remove, he says. Select face or sketch region, so we're going to do that to remove. Nope, what's going on there? Um, ah, okay. Don't know entirely what happened there. One entity selected, and we're just going to say through all the way. Okay. There we go, and already it's looking something like the finished article. Okay, so let's uh, just zoom in there, so there's our right face. Okay, so we'll need to put the hole in, so let's do that. Uh, and then it's just the chamfer. So once more to the sketch, I'll select the sketch plane, so I'm going to select that inside face there. Uh, and I'm just going to select point, so I've selected a point. Um, and I've just put that point on, so let's um, let's rotate around so we've got a nice flat working surface. Lock that and just uh, zoom in. So now we just need to do the dimensions for that. Okay, so can we move that? We can. There we go. There. So you see I've just moved it to the centre. I've created another point. Okay. Um, how do I get rid of a point? Right, let's undo that. Okay, point. Ah, that's exciting. So I'm just holding down my finger there, um, and it lets me move it around and, and select. So we're locking that to the center line. Okay, I should have probably done that on the uh, on the sketch, shouldn't I, for the for the last part? Anyway, I think we're okay. I'll double check that in a moment. So we've got our, our center point there, and now all we have to do is dimension the height. So our drawing says that it is. I'm not actually uh, dimensioned there. 35. So let's get our dimensions. Dimension from there to the bottom is ooh, not bad. 35. 
there we go okay so we've created our point and then what we need to do then is we need to use the hole wizard so have we got that there pum, 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 pum. shout when you see hole there we are hole excellent no hole point selected so uh, sketch four the hole point is that gonna let me do that no okay let's move that down Where has it gone? I'm looking at the wrong side, aren't I? There we are. So, no target part selected for the hole. Um, style, simple. Termination through. Um, merge scopes, there we are. So, right, so, there we are. Um, standard ISO. Hole type tapped, and the drawing tells me it's an M12. So we'll just scroll down there, and the pitch is 1.25 according to the drawing. Oh, that's interesting. Fine pitch. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, so it's a through hole, opposite direction. Um, okay. Tap through all. Okay. So we're happy with that. Okay, so that's our hole, and then uh, last but not least, we're going to put a chamfer on, so I'm going to do that, 3D beach ball thing, uh, there's the chamfer, uh, select edges to chamfer, it's already 0 0.5, which is what the drawing tells us it is, um, and there you go, that's the drawing done, On that's the part done on my phone to a minimum standard, so you know, you can put the slot in yourself for, for the merit, I'm sure, uh, but we can see it's entirely possible. So, well, that's interesting. So you can't do the drawing, create part studio, create assembly, import. So we can't actually do the uh, do the drawings on here. Ah, no. Renamed. Right, okay, well that's worth that's worth knowing. All right, so I've learned something. We can't do the, uh, we can't, it would seem, do the drawings on the app. Uh, but you can certainly do all of the models on the app. And then that means that you've got less pressure to, to do things in college. And you can do the drawings when you're at a PC in college. And that shouldn't take you as long. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope that's helpful.